So tonight we're having a moving party. And I promised I promised my precious daughter that tonight we would do it. We would watch my least favorite movie of all time, Lady and the Tramp 2, Scamp's Adventure. Say a prayer for me. It says it is a very worthy successor to the Disney classic. I doubt that very much. I'll see you on the other side. Oh my gosh. I really want to turn the TV off right now. And it, has, it is like, it's 15 seconds in and I just want to, I want to throw something at the television. It's just. No, don't you break this TV. Okay, so like, I'm kind of torn on how to feel about Tramp and Scamp's relationship. On the one hand, Tramp is not approaching parenthood like in a good way. Like he's just driving his kid back. Like he keeps telling his kid like it's my way or the highway. It's just making the kid more resentful and more rebellious. But then on the other hand, as a parent, like, yeah, you set boundaries for your kid to keep them safe. And you know, you can't be your kid's friend. Oh my god, this movie's sympathetic. I don't know how to feel about that. Scamp still sucks. But, like, yeah, I, I, I feel that. Like, you can't be your child's buddy. Like, the minute you become your kid's pal, like, that relationship starts to fall apart. Like, they're going to look to you for boundaries and for guidance. And if you, you know try to be their friend and their confidant, it's it's going to fall apart. So, I do feel that. I, I feel Tramp very, very keenly. Exposition train. Almost as good as an exposition murder grizzly, but twice as exciting. It's the dogs are about to bone song. See what I did there? Is Alyssa Milano like the singing voice of Angel? Because it's, it's pretty good. I mean, the song sucks, but her singing voice is pretty good. Talk about Tony and Joe. So do Tony and Joe just, like, wait around for dogs to show up to their restaurant and, like, host impromptu, like, dinner serenades for them? Because if so, they have the best hobby in the Disney universe. Every time Angel tears into Scamp for being just an obnoxious jerk, it gives me life. Like, it literally, like, gives me life. It makes me more powerful. Ah, Busta Rhymes! It would be so funny if Busta Rhymes voiced Buster in this movie. It would make me so happy! Please put this in Lady and the Tramp 3 Busta Move with Busta Rhyme. Yeah, look at this. Like, it's like Scam gets put in the pound for one night. His dad comes and springs him. And, like, that's it. Like, he doesn't learn anything. He's still an obnoxious jerk. Like, he, he does, he goes through zero character development art. Like, and he gets laid. Like, like, okay, what if, I, I hate to sound like a bastard here, but what if Tramp, like, got hurt, like, Shadow in Homeward Bound? Or, like, what if he went through this, like, really traumatizing guilty experience like Kenai and Brother Bear like you could see how that would be earned like when he gets that happy ending but he doesn't it's just like he gets slapped on the wrist daddy comes and breaks him free and then that's it like Scamp is every 1% rich kid who gets in trouble and daddy frees him and that's it like he doesn't learn one damn thing Hooray! I've never been happier to see a movie end. <laughs>